Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking, coming at you today. Got a great recipe, uh, really excited about cooking these. I haven't cooked some of these in a long time. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm cooking out there, is we're gonna do some beef, basically the beef back ribs, the beef ribs that come off like the ribeye. These are really, really good ribs. They had them for sale today, on sale at my local grocery. They're hardly, kind of hard to find around here when you do, they're usually really high. I think I got them for like $4.99 a pound, so that was a good deal. Y'all come down here and just take a look. They look almost like pork ribs, about the size of, you know, St. Louis style or whatever. But you can see how you got the bones right there, and then you got basically that ribeye steak right there in the middle of them. So we're going to put together some stuff. Let me talk to you a little bit about the components today. One of the main things we're going to be using is uh, Big Papa Smoker's Cash Cow Beef Rub. This stuff is absolutely probably some of the best rub in general, you can put on beef on the planet right there. Good stuff. I may come in with a little bit of their money championship rub, just a little bit of that, but I want to top it off and, and, and get some of this sweet money with a little bit of honey granules in there. Kind of give it a little bit of sweetness pop at the end. Now, before we get started on those ribs, what we want to do is we want to make uh, basically a something to get them to hear a binder you know for for the ribs or something to put sauce to put on them you know, put mustard on beef rib i've got this 30 minute marinade uh, uh from uh, bone sucking good absolutely was on the best marinade out there i buy this stuff by the case y'all and put a little bit of that in here all right and then i want to cut it make it a little bit thinner with just some lean pears rooster shear all right, I'm gonna do just like that. Now I'm not gonna put, uh, take the membrane off the back of these ribs, cause I need that on there for a little bit of strength. That'd be just fine. I don't usually take the membrane off of beef ribs anyway. So we're gonna stir that a little bit. What we'll do is we'll base these ribs up. And once we get this, uh, the binder on there or whatever, I set them over here on this other platter. And we'll come back by, I mean, look at that. I wish y'all could smell. This stuff just smells amazing right here. But this marinade, and this will help get a little marinade on too. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff, those beef ribs. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this, baste it up, and uh, then Alexa, stop timer. Sorry about that, y'all. Wife's in there cooking something, timing. But uh, go ahead and get all this stuff. So let me get these basted up and we'll come back y'all. And then we will do, uh, we'll put the uh, rubs on. Y'all, so hope you can see how I got that beautiful little glaze on there. I'm not worrying too much about the backside on these ribs because you got the membrane, but I need that membrane y'all. This is the meat's very tender. It's very thin, honestly. You, don't, you just kind of eat up off that membrane. If you tear that membrane off the back, your ribs are going to fall apart. Your meat will turn almost like pulled beef, and, and you can stand loose. I mean, yeah, people have done it, pull the membrane off. If you want to do that, that's fine. But my preference is just leave it on just for the ease of cooking. All right, so first off, we're going to go with a cash cow. Absolutely wonderful beef rub from Big Papa Smokers. You don't have to do a whole bunch of rub on these ribs. I already need a lot of natural, good flavor in there. So we'll put the cash cow on there. I tell you what, just for good measure, we'll put a little bit on the back just to say, you know, we, we did a little bit of seasoning. But that's about all I'm gonna put on the back of these ribs. Not really worried about it. You could score that with a knife if you want to. I may go back and do that just for some cross hatches. That's not a bad idea like I do with big beef ribs. I just want to get my good cash cow on here. On here as evenly as possible. Okay, kind of spread that out a little bit. Then I want to come in with um, a little bit of their uh, just money championship rub. A little bit of that. Just a little there. All right, and then I want to hit it with the sweet, the sweet money. All right, this is the good stuff. This is going to be a little bit of that sweet pop. You know what I'm talking about? So let's go ahead and get it topped off with that. And y'all, that should be excellent right there. We'll go ahead and set these aside, get the other ones done. We'll get the Hanseka smoking out there. We'll be ready to roll, y'all. It's gonna be so good, I'm telling you. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to uh, get the Hanseka going. I've already lit it. 
We're going to be going with some of the smoky wood barbecue and chunks. Uh, we're using some calm wood today. And that's going to be really, really good. I'm going to get that loaded, a couple of chunks of that loaded in there. We're going to roll out. We're going to hang those ribs. It's going to be so good, y'all. All right, y'all. Now I'm about to load these beautiful beef ribs right there into the Hunsaker. Isn't that pretty? That's, that's worth the picture right there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to snap that. I mean, it's beautiful. All right, so we're going to load these into the Hunsaker. I'll come on over here real quick. Y'all can watch me. We'll load them down in there. I've already got a big old chub of bologna in there. Well, I'm doing a smoke. Sometimes I, if I, find, if I happen to find that big old knot of bologna at the store, and go ahead and smoke some of that too. We'll get the smoke off that pecan rolling. So let's go ahead and put this down here. Bring all these bad boys here. Plenty, plenty of room in this cooker. All right, then we'll close it down. Let it keep rolling. We're trying to roll about 250. Get my lock there. Roll about 250 degrees, and that's the key. Do that for about two and a half hours. So they've been smoking about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes now. I want y'all to look at them. Got the perfect color on them. About ready to wrap. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that nice? Let me get y'all over here. Let some of the smoke blow away. And if y'all can see how the bones are exposed, it's just what we want to see. Right down there. Look at those ribs. Let me raise one up here so you can have a better look at it. We're about to wrap them. Look at that. Oh, wait. Is that not beautiful? That's a pretty rib right there. All right, we're about to get over here. Ooh, burnt myself. Let's go over here and wrap these in some tin foil. All right. And uh, put a little beef consomme in there. Let me show you how we're going to wrap these. Put one in here. Quick for you. Put it down just like that. Beautiful bones. Got some beef consomme again. Some of the tan stuff. So you all can see that. Cool it from that. Let's kind of wrap this up a little bit so it can just all blow out of there. Pour it. About half a can in there. Get one of these. We'll wrap this up. And we put them back on. Put them another the smoker right now on about 250. Let those chill out. And just get tender, 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 alright? Alright y'all, sorry about that. We got the neighbors all across the street, kids out there playing, but that's okay. Y'all should be able to hear me over all that. So these have been on here for about an hour wrapped. What we want to do is just get them out now. Let that big old piece of block off the wall in there. I'm moving over here to Yoda just because it's easier. Uh, cooking with it, you know what I'm saying? When you got something wrapped, I don't want to waste all my fuel in the barrel cooker or in the uh, Hunsaker. So, look at this. How beautiful is that? Oh, look at that. A lot of. Ooh. Man, look, look at that. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and baste that a little bit. I got a really nice barbecue sauce here. It's called coffee infused barbecue sauce I picked up at Kroger. Some of my private selection. Do a little bit of that. I'm going to put this back on there just for a minute. Kind of let that sauce set up. And this is going to be amazing. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Lord, right, no. Got a whole ton of meat. What you got there is just ridiculous. Good. Go ahead and put that back on there. Let that sauce just kind of thicken up on there. I'm going to do that with the rest of them. So let's say I'll put them back on the, uh, on the pit. And probably let that sauce just sit in there for about 15, 20 minutes. I'll come back to y'all and we'll see how they are. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get this off the, the cooker. Uh, then we'll take it inside and get everything ready for a beautiful presentation. But it looks absolutely wonderful there on the grill. A 
hope y'all can see all that. And we'll go ahead and take it off. We'll let it inside. Get everything ready to go. So I'll take the, the ribs off. Just look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. Right there. Here we go. All right, y'all. That's kind of kind of hard doing this this afternoon. We had some company come over and uh, things like that. So I had to come out here. A bunch of kids and kids outside. So it's just really been a rough one. But anyway, we got all this stuff set up on on the slate plate. It was really really good. And just super tender. Look at that beef. Just pull some of it off there. Oh yeah. Give it a try. Mmm. That is wonderful, y'all. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. I'll tell you what. All that flavor from you know, mid pop smokers and everything. And 30 minute marinating, let's dip some in the juice. Just basically the juice that we wrapped in. Mm. Absolutely amazing, y'all. I mean, this stuff, just the right consistency. Freaking huh, flavor explosion. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I apologize about all the disturbances. No one's everywhere, but y'all have got to try this. These were that. It's the back ribs on beef. They were on sale at the grocers today for about four dollars a pound. I had to get me some, try them out. Really, really good. So thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. God bless, and we we'll get the new month started tomorrow. But my goodness, that's that's a, that's a good little recipe right there. For sure. That big pop smokers give us some flavor with that 30 minute marinade. Oh yeah. Good and please uh, like my videos so much. Y'all, God bless. I appreciate you.